Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to be creating the security groups that we need for this project. Security groups are virtual firewalls for your EC2 instance to control inbound and outbound traffic. The first security group we are going to be creating is the security group for our application load balancer. So select services and come down to networking and content delivery and select VPC. On the left side, going to scroll down, under security, select security groups. Then to only see the security groups that are in your VPC, you can filter this by the Jupyter VPC and it is only going to show you the security groups in that VPC. This default security group was created when we created this VPC. Let's leave that one. This was the security group we created in the last lecture. We don't need it, so I'm just going to delete it. Select it, so come to the left side under Actions, and you should see Delete Security Groups. I'm just going to delete it. Now I can filter it again by my Jupyter VPC, and I only have that default security group in here. So let's create the security group for our application load balancer. I'm going to click Create Security Group. I'll give it a name. I'll call it Application Load Balancer Security Group. And for description, I'm going to give it the same name. Then we are going to choose the VPC where we want to put it in. It is going to be in the Jupyter VPC. Then we are going to add inbound rules. I'm going to click Add Rule. The first rule is going to be HTTP on port 80 and the source is going to be anywhere so I'll select this 0.0.0 slash .0, .0, 0 and we are going to add the second rule and the second rule is going to be HTTPS and it is also going to be from anywhere and once you've added those two rules scroll down and click create security group the second security group we are going to create is an SSH security group and this is the security group we are going to use when we SSH into our EC2 instance. So I'm going to select security groups again and I'm going to click create security group. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it SSH security group and for description I'll give it the same name. Then I'll select the VPC that I want to put it in. It is going to be in my Jupyter VPC. We are going to add a rule. Select the drop down. It is going to be SSH on port 22. Normally, the source of your SSH should be your IP address. But because we are using this as an example, I'll put it at anywhere. But for best practice, it should always be your IP address. So you can select this drop down and select my IP. Then once I add that SSH rule, I'm going to scroll down and click Create Security Group. The last security group we are going to create for this project is the security group for our web servers. By web servers, I'm saying the EC2 instance. And to do that, let's select security groups again and click Create Security Group. We are going to give it a name. I'll call it Web Server Security Group. And I'll give it the same name as description. Then I'll select the VPC that I want to put it in. It is going to be in the Jupyter VPC. I'm going to add a rule. The first rule is going to be HTTP on port 80. But the source is going to be from my application load balancer. We are going to add another rule on HTTPS and the source is going to be from the application load balancer and we are going to add the last rule which is going to be SSH and the source is going to be our SSH security group and scroll down and click create security group and when I click security groups again and these are the security groups that we need for this project. 
that we have in the VPC. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.